This video will give you an overview of the Pocket Logger for RX7 software. This software is used in conjunction with Digital Tuning's RTX7 Stage 2 ECU upgrades for second generation RX7s. To start the program, tap the RX7 Logger icon. This brings you to the main screen. There are four main areas, Data Log, Tuning, View Your Saved Data Logs, and Diagnostics. Tap Log to bring you to the data logging screens. There are two views in the data logging screens, the graphic view and the number view. Tap the wrench icon to select the engine parameters you wish to data log. Tapping Go will start saving data into the PDA's memory. Tapping Stop will automatically name and save the log. Tapping the magnifying glass will bring you to a list of saved data logs. Tap the log you wish to view and tap the magnifying glass again to view the saved data log. You can navigate the log by using the buttons at the bottom of the screen. To see actual values for any point on the graph, simply tap or drag the stylus on the screen. Use the page up-down hard buttons on the palm to zoom the graph in and out. Tapping Tune will bring you to the screen that allows you to change parameters within the ECU. There are two active maps, Fuel and Timing. The VE map will be implemented at a future date. Each map can be viewed in a few different ways. The Fuel map has three views, Table View, Bar Graph View, and 3D Graph View. All three views display the same fuel map, only in different ways. You can navigate any map using the buttons at the bottom of the screen, or the hard buttons at the bottom of the palm. Changes are made to the map with the on-screen up-down buttons or the PDA's page up-down hard buttons. Changes on the bar graph screen are made by simply dragging the slider controls, much like a graphic equalizer. There are three different timing maps, leading, trailing, and a split map. All three maps can be viewed as either a 3D graph or a numerical table. The table is larger than the 5x5 grid, so in order to access the rest of the map, simply navigate past the edge and the map will scroll in that direction. Again, changes can be made by using the up-down buttons on the screen or the PDA's page up-down hard buttons. Tapping the menu button on the PDA from any tune screen allows you to access the ECU setup screen. This screen is where you can configure the ECU settings by tapping the appropriate tab on the left side. Injectors, Staging RPMs, Inputs, Outputs, Initialize the ECU back to stock. Idle, which has the ability to set the initial set coupler. This tab walks you through the factory idle adjustment procedure to properly set up your idle and is where adjustments to the variable resistor value are now made and the starting tab which allows you to adjust the cranking fuel map. Tapping Diagnostics will display the current errors in the ECU as well as the status of the ECU's inputs and outputs. Tapping View will bring you to the list of saved data logs. After selecting a log, you can delete, rename, see information, or even attach a note to it. Use the node area of the log to record any important information about the log, such as location or weather conditions. For more information regarding the RTX7 ECU upgrades or any of our other products, please log on to digitaltuning.com.